good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are bringing it all the way back to the very beginning of the channel because my first ever video on my channel was my 2017 WWE Royal Rumble predictions in which I predicted the winner correctly. I think I've predicted the winner correctly a few times now here on the channel. Will that happen again today? We'll have to find out together. Tonight is the Royal Rumble, my favorite pay-per-view of the year. I'm very, very excited for it. You wouldn't know that five years ago. My God, it sounded like somebody was forcing me to make that video with a gun to my head, Brad. Need to do a whole video reaction acting to that. But here today, man, we're diving into the WWE Royal Rumble 2022. Very unpredictable for this show. I'm very excited for it. Lots of great matches on the card that I'm ready for. Very unpredictable men's rumble. Where are you at, Riddle? Go ahead and just slide on in. Poor Sheamus. Anyways, man, what we're going to do is break down the entire card, and I'm going to give you guys my actual full-fledged predictions for the show. What I expect to happen, what I expect to see, maybe some surprise entrants, who I expect to win the Royal Rumble, or who I predict to win the Royal Rumble, and it should be a really, really fun test. This year, very unpredictable. Like we said, I feel like this year is pretty unpredictable like last year. I felt like last year was pretty unpredictable as well, but here we are, man. But what we're going to do is run through the entire card, and I'm going to break everything down. So let's go ahead and get started. So starting out with the first matchup, man, we have the Raw Women's Champion. Championship. Becky Lynch doing war with Dewdrop. Now, I have no issues with Dewdrop. You know, she's not my favorite for sure. She's got a long way to go as far as getting better and stuff, but I don't dislike her in any way. You know, she's not my favorite superstar by any means, but you know, I, I think she's still young and upcoming here. I don't think she gets the win. I think it's nice to give her a bone here and get this matchup, but I do not see her winning the title. I don't want her to win the title, and I don't predict she'll win the title, man. I'm going Becky Lynch all the way. I think that Becky probably needs to tote the title into WrestleMania. That makes the most sense for me. I'm going to go Becky Lynch to retain the championship. Not much more else to see. I just hope for a good quality football game here at the Royal Rumble. Next up, guys, we have Miz and Maurice taking on Edge and Beth Phoenix, and I, I have looked throughout this entire room. I know I have the battle pack with Miz and Maurice, the one with the yellow or the, the goldish jacket and the heels. I know I have that figure, but I have no idea where it is. In, in Amongst all these boxes, it's not on my women's shelf, so I don't know where the hell it went. I don't know if it fell down behind something. I, I, I have looked all over, so we're just going to have to build a bridge and get over it. Very, it pains me a lot not to be able to see the Maurice figure in the full-fledged de deal there. However, in this matchup, man, we've talked about this a little bit. Mixed tag team match here. I think Edge and Beth Phoenix need to get the win. I know Edge has already defeated the Miz here at day one. I like that matchup. I think it'll be a solid matchup and some drama field. I, I kind of look at this as kind of like the Ronda Rousey and Triple H. The Ronda Rousey and Kurt Angle matchup with Triple H and Steph. I think it'll have that kind of air to it. Not as good as that matchup, obviously, but I still feel like it'll have that kind of drama involved. You know, if you're going to put a mixed tag team match at Royal Rumble. It should be pretty damn good. So I think it'll live up to it. You got some good workers here. So I expect a fun little match, but I think Edge needs to go over. I'm gonna I'm gonna predict Edge winning the matchup, and I hope to see him and AJ Styles get into a few going into WrestleMania. But if that's going to happen, and I, I hope they plan to make that happen, I need Edge to get the win, and I'm gonna predict that he gets the win here. Next up, man, we got our dream matchup. The matchup that I'm probably, I don't know. I, I don't know if it's the one I'm most looking forward to because I still, I love all the matches on this card outside of one or two. But we have Brock Lesnar, WWE Champion, going one-on-one -on -one with Bobby Lashley. A matchup we've been waiting on forever. We did get a taste of it in the Fatal 4-Way at day one. But here in this matchup, man, I mean, I expect a Clash of the Titans. Goldberg, Brock Lesnar S. I hope it's fun. You guys know that Brock Lesnar matches are always fun. Like, you never know what to expect. And I know you're going to say, well, it's just going to be finishers and suplexes. But that's the thing, man. It's so hard-hitting and like a car crash that you just can't help but watch it. And I think that's what we're going to get here. Just two big guys beating the hell out of each other. I hope we get a good one. But I think at the end of the day, Brock Lesnar is going to put Bobby Lashley down, and he is going to retain the championship. I just think Brock Lesnar, you know, we had that long reign with Bobby. I don't see them taking the title away from Bobby and then feeding him right back to him to go into WrestleMania. I think we're going to get Brock Lesnar retaining the WWE Championship unless they want to do something where we get, like, Bobby Lashley wins the title and it's so crazy that they want a rematch. I think I'm going to predict Brock here. I think it's the safe bet. I'm going to take Brock Lesnar to retain the WWE Championship. I just want to see a hard-hitting slugfest of two heavyweights beating the absolute dog crap out of each other. That's what I hope to see here. Brock Lesnar retains and that's what I'm predicting. Next up guys, we have the Universal Championship match. Roman Reigns versus Seth freaking Rollins. I've been calling him Seth freaking Rollins I think for years now. Like I never really got rid of the nickname now. It's like his official name. Very odd. However, this matchup is one of the ones that I'm looking most forward to as well. You got two of my favorite guys in the company going head to head here. Roman Reigns and Seth freaking Rollins. I would love to see my boy dethrone Roman. I just don't see it happening man. Over 500 days as champion Roman Reigns is on a dominant run. I don't see anybody being 
better than him right now. And I know I love Seth. I think he's fantastic. I still don't think he's on the Roman Reigns level just yet. And for those reasons, I think I gotta go with the big dog, the Tribal Chief. He's going to retain the championship. I see that happening. I'm gonna predict that. I just think it makes the most sense. And I don't know what's next for Seth Rollins. I think it'd be cool to see him win. I would love to see him win, but I just don't see that being the cards. You know, Roman Reigns has been their champion 500 days. He needs to be champion at the biggest show of the year, right? That's just, that just makes the most sense. I don't see him going for any other matchup outside of that. Unless, like, Dwayne Johnson came down and cost him the championship, and then you had your non-title one-on-one with Brock and Roman. I don't know. I'm just throwing out shish, but I think I'm gonna go with Roman Reigns retaining. I just want to see a really great matchup. I think it will be. You got your story of the history of the Shield and everything. Maybe John Moxley comes down the ramp and beats the hell out of both of them, leading to a crazy triple threat at WrestleMania. One can dream. That's absolutely not happening, but we're going Roman Reigns to retain over Seth Rollins. I just want to see some sick-ass gear. I want to see some sick-ass stuff, so that's what I'm going with. All right, guys, so jumping into the Women's Royal Rumble first before we get into the men's. Of course, you guys know last year we did have Bianca Belair as the winner, which made a lot of sense. I think she could be an early favorite this year. I wouldn't even be shocked if she won it again. I think I'm going to play things a little bit differently here, but 23 of the 30 entrants have been announced so far for this Rumble, and I mean, the, uh, the Forbidden Door has been open. Mickey James is in this thing. She's from Impact. You have some people that are Hall of Famers. You have some people that are unaffiliated with either brand. They're just entering the Rumble. And that kind of gets into the whole problem with the Women's Royal Rumble this year is that they released so much damn talent that they didn't have enough to even fill up the John Brown thing. So they had to go out and grab like all these different people just to fill up their Women's Rumble because they keep releasing all this talent, not giving anybody a shot and just completely kind of forgetting the women's division. And I mean, that plays a whole role onto the Women's Tag Team Championships as well, man. Everything's just on the back burner. But let's get into the list real quick before I get into my thoughts. Rhea Ripley, Nikki Ash, Dana Brooke, Carmella, Queen Zelina, Tamina, Shotzi, Shotzi Black. Blackheart, Natalia, Aaliyah, Naomi, Shayna Baszler, Charlotte Flair, Nikki and Brie Bella, Lita, Michelle McCool, Kelly Kelly, Summer Rae, Mickey James, Bianca Belair, Liv Morgan, Sasha Banks, and Sonya Deville. A solid little selection. I mean, you have your naysays here, but you have some pretty good names in this thing. I think there's a handful of names that could easily win it. And only having 23 of the 30 announced as of the recording of this, there may be more announced as we approach the Royal Rumble. But uh, I have a few surprises in mind, and I think I'm going to get into my surprises first, who I think is going to be a surprise entrant in this thing, and then I'll get into who I think is going to win, who could possibly win, and maybe who I want to win a little bit. So, getting into my surprise entrance real quick. So, the first surprise entry that I think we could possibly see is Asuka. I think Asuka could be a surprise in this thing. It wouldn't shock me one bit if she showed up. It wouldn't shock me if she won. I'd love to see Asuka come back and win. She was the first ever Women's Royal Rumble winner, if my memory serves me correctly, and she would be a fantastic winner. I don't know exactly when she's coming back or when the whole deal is supposed to be, but Asuka would be fantastic. Another surprise entry that I could see is Io Shirai. I could see Io Shirai showing up and making a splash. Wouldn't shock me at the slightest. Another surprise entrant that I think would throw a lot of people off and one that not a lot of people expect is Lacey Evans. I, I could see Lacey Evans returning. I think she was out, what, because she was pregnant? You know, she had to get a recovery. I think it's been long enough, right? And I don't think she's pregnant again, so I think Lacey Evans could be eligible for a return in the Royal Rumble. That wouldn't shock me one bit either. Wouldn't want her to win, but I think she'd have a solid showing. And I think this is kind of where my prediction comes in and what I think is going to happen. And I guess I can go ahead and give it to you guys, but I think the winner of the Women's Royal Rumble and a surprise entrant that we're going to see, I think Bailey shows up at the number 30 spot and wins the Women's Royal Rumble. I think that makes the most sense. Get the nice shock and awe factor. I mean, if Asuka and Io are in that thing, I could see something playing out like that. I could also see Charlotte Flair winning the whole thing and then us getting a, you know, a championship for championship match, kind of like we got back in the day between her and Becky at WrestleMania or something like that. So that wouldn't shock me at the slightest. Like, why the hell is Charlotte Flair in the Royal Rumble? Well, she's not defending the title, so she's just gonna step in there. I don't know. Pulling a freaking Kenny Omega on Vindication, I guess. Nonetheless, I could, I think that is what my prediction's gonna be. I'm gonna predict Bayley to enter at 30 and win the Royal Rumble, and that's gonna be my full-fledged, hardcore prediction. But what I want to happen, and this is out of left field too, but it would be a complete shock, and it would be fantastic, but uh, a surprise entrant I would love to see, and somebody I'd love to see win would be Rowdy Ronda Rousey. I would love to see Ronda Rousey come out at the number 30 spot, win the Royal Rumble, and go on to get a championship matchup. I thought when she was in uh, when she was in WWE, man, she just uh, she just brought it. When she first came in, I was not a fan, and then she quickly became my favorite performer in the women's division. I mean, she's insane. Every matchup she had was a slap. You felt the legitimacy. You felt it. You felt the drama in all her matches, man. She was really, really good, and I would love to see her make a return there. And the last surprise entrant that I'm going to say could come in and win the thing is going to be Alexa Bliss. I could see Alexa Bliss also showing up in this thing, and I could see her winning it. I wouldn't be shocked if she won the damn thing. I think as of now, Ronda Rousey is the favorite to win the Women's Royal Rumble, which is insane. Bianca Belair is second, and then Alexa
Alexa Bliss is third, and then Bailey is fourth. So I could see all these things. I mean, everything I just said could happen. I could see Paige being an entrant in this thing. I could see Alexa Bliss returning, Asuka, Lacey Evans, Io Shirai, Bailey. I mean, this could be the best Women's Royal Rumble of all time, but my final prediction that I'm going to go with is Bailey returning at 30 and winning it. My second prediction would be Alexa Bliss winning it. And then the thing that I want concrete to happen would be Ronda Rousey winning it, which highly doubtful, even though she is the odds on favorite somehow. I don't know. Should have put a lot of money on that. But I'm going with Bailey to win the Women's Royal Rumble. And I just hope for a good ass match, man. I just want to see a really good Women's Royal Rumble. I feel like there's a lot of slow, a lot of like waiting on timing and a lot of sloppiness in the Women's Royal Rumble a lot of times. So just God, give me a good Royal Rumble, please. And for the moment, we've all been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen. We have the Men's Royal Rumble. What the event is all about, the granddaddy of them all right here, man. We have the Men's Royal Rumble. 25 of the 30 entrants have been announced as of January 29th, which is the time I'm recording this, which is the day of the Royal Rumble itself, the early part of the day. Now, last year's winner was Edge, and he came in at the number one entrant. I expect probably Edge to make another appearance in this thing. I could see him being one of those five entrants in this thing. I'm going to go through my surprise entrance or what I think could possibly take place in this thing and you guys just ride with me here so so all the entrants announced for this thing man angelo dawkins montez ford Rey mysterio dominic mysterio austin theory johnny knoxville sheamus damian priest aj styles Big E, happy corbin madcap moss sammy Zayn, kofi kingston kevin owens omos randy orton riddle matt riddle chad gable otis dolph ziggler robert rude shinsuke nakamura rick boogs and ricochet so 25 out of 30 i said it on twitter man i'll say it again i feel like this field is pretty weak like there's not like a ton of guys that I'm emotionally invested in or would care if they won. Like, of course, my boys Randy Orton, Dolph Ziggler, Kevin Owens, guys like that, I would be thrilled of winning. But outside of that, I mean, AJ Styles would be cool to see win. Matt Riddle would be cool to see win. Ricochet would be cool, but he ain't coming nowhere near close. So I think it's going to be one of the surprise entrants, man. I really think it's going to be one of the surprise entrants. And if it's not one of the surprise entrants, then Kevin Owens is winning this thing. At least that's where, from where I stand. I, I see Kevin Owens winning it, or it's going to be somebody that we do not expect, whether that be a Brock Lesnar, or a Roman Reigns, or, you know, a Rock, or a craziness like that. And, of course, John Cena, the GOAT. If the GOAT showed up, then give it to him. But anyways, guys, let's get into my surprise entrance first, and then we'll get into who I actually think is going to win, and who I predict to win, and, you know, who I'd like to see win, even though we covered a little bit here. So, all right, so for my surprise entrance, man, I have a few here. I think I have six, so not all of them are going to take place, but these are six guys that I can realistically see, or some guys that, you know, it will be a kind of a curveball to see in the Royal Rumble. My first one is going to be Elias. I don't know why I feel like Elias is going to be in this Royal Rumble. Whether he comes out as number 30 as the Fiend, they repackage his whole deal as the Fiend. I don't think they fit. You know, he could talk and everything, but can he wrestle and, you know, do all the good things like that, like the Fiend? I don't know, but I don't know. I just feel like the, the Elias. We're going to see Elias in some form or fashion. I know they killed off his guitar gimmick and stuff, but we will see a rebranding of Elias, maybe, unless they released him. Did they release him? I could have swore I Googled it beforehand, and I don't think that, uh, I don't think he's been released. I just think he's been absent from programming, so I can see Elias being a surprise in this thing. The next surprise entry that I could see possibly taking place, man, is going to be Rob Van Dam. Now, you guys know that we just got his new Elite figure, and I don't know if that was completely crazy. I think that Mattel may have been in the know about him showing up at the Royal Rumble, possibly, or him coming back to WWE TV for a little bit. So I have RVD showing up in this thing. It may be a complete, you know, just out of left field, but just showing up for a Rumble surprise would be pretty cool. He's been uh, on some WWE stuff here as of late, so I think Rob Van Dam will be a cool surprise and get a pop out of me and that will be awesome. Another surprise entrant that I think we could see, man, is going to be an NXT talent and I think this NXT talent or just this talent in general, I'm going to say Tommaso Ciampa shows up in the Royal Rumble. I think we could see Tommaso Ciampa show up, get a good little deal there. I don't think he'll win the thing or anything, but it would be cr cool to see Ciampa show up. I think the betting odds had him like the 20th favorite to win the Royal Rumble. No, I don't think that's going to take place, but I think it will be pretty damn cool. You guys know that he lost the title and so it would be cool to have him show up. Another the surprise entry that will make me mark out, guys, is going to be John Cena. Now, John Cena is always a possible return, and I think if he shows up, he would either have to get eliminated by somebody to set up a match, or he'd have to win the damn thing. So, I would have John Cena, you know, if he comes back, that would be very thrilling for me. You know, he's my favorite of all time, so I'd be marking out, but John Cena is in my list of potential returns here at this Royal Rumble. He may be off filming or something, but I always got to get it out there. The next one that I have is going to be Finn Balor. I could see Finn Balor being 
being a surprise entrant. I don't think he's, you know, announced for this thing. I don't even know when the last time we saw this guy was. When's the last time we saw Finn Balor? So, Finn Balor being a shock in this thing would be amazing. Having him win it would be really damn cool. But, uh, even as the demon, like, have the demon in the Rumble, don't think that's been a thing yet either. So, having the demon come out in the Royal Rumble would be very fantastic. You know, we haven't seen the demon since, you know, pretty much the wrestling gods made the turnbuckle snap and the demon lost to Roman Reigns. How dumb as hell is that? Get it? Let him get his revenge at WrestleMania. And then the last but not least surprise entrant for some reason. I said this a couple weeks back. I said that I had a tingle about this guy returning and being in the Royal Rumble. He's going to be the Fiend. Now, it doesn't have to be Bray Wyatt or Wyndham Rotunda or anything like that. I have a tingle that he's going to be in the Royal Rumble, and I don't know if it's going to be the Fiend. I don't know if it's going to be Wyndham Rotunda as the Fiend or just some form of Wyndham Rotunda. They just said they released Bray Wyatt, right? Like, when they released Bray Wyatt, it was only Bray Wyatt. They didn't say Wyndham Rotunda. They said Bray Wyatt. So, I think that it could be the Fiend is still in WWE. Bray Wyatt's no longer here, but it's the Fiend. That's like his name. That's his gimmick, and Wyndham Rotunda is still a part of it. I know he hated it there, and like these all these backstage things, and his mental health, and stepping away, and doing movies, and all these different things, but I'm just saying it's a definite possibility that we could see the Fiend in the Royal Rumble, and I would love nothing more than that. So now let's get in, and now that we've covered the surprise interest that I could see, I'll tell you right now, if the Fiend shows up at number 30, I feel like he'd have to win it, or you completely squashed him yet again. So there's that. However, let's get into who I think is actually going to win this thing. So we get all these guys out of here, or just move them around a little bit. The ones that I realistically think are going to win is going to be AJ Styles, Kevin Owens, or some surprise entrant. That's my three main people that I see winning the Royal Rumble. And I think at the end of the day, I'm going to go with my boy. I think I predicted him last year, or I may have just been holding that cling, but I think I'm going to go here this year, man. I'm going Kevin Owens winning the Royal Rumble. I want it to happen. I think it should happen. And yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna go Kevin Owens winning the Royal Rumble. I don't really have like a ton of specific reasons. I think if Seth Rollins beats Roman Reigns, then there's a really good story right there that they've kind of been building up. So Kevin Owens winning the Rumble, getting that match with Seth at WrestleMania there would be beautiful. It'd be a rematch of WrestleMania. It'd kind of have this culmination of their, their sort of relationship that's been building up for a few years now. And that would be pretty cool. But it would not shock me at the slightest if, you know, a Big E won, a Brock Lesnar won, an AJ Styles, a surprise entrant, if you will. So I'm just going to go against the grain here and I'm going to pick my boy Kevin Owens. And if not, then I'm going, I'm going to go with some surprise entrant. But I hope Kevin Owens wins, man. I just want to see a really enjoyable rumble, much like the women's, man. I just want a great show. I want things to make logical sense. I want some surprises. I want some epicness. I want a roller coaster of emotions. That's what the Royal Rumble is all about. So that's where I'm going to leave you, man. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Let me know your predictions for this, this match, this entire show down there. And let me know all your things, man. But I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at my damn toys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't cross the line like WWE when they released all those guys. And now they have nobody to fill out their Royal Rumble. Actually, don't cross the line like Johnny Knoxville. His jackass, literal jackass, taking a spot in this Royal Rumble. I do love me some jackass, though.